Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hazemeyer. On our show, we've had a chance to travel the world in search of what's new in transportation technology. These are a few highlights from our trips around the globe. First up is the UK, where the Yike bike is taking a crack at small-scale commuting. So you might remember those bikes from back in the day. They were penny farthings. They were the ones with the big wheels up front and the small one in the back. Well, this is similar to that in design, but the purpose of this is all about mobility. You can fold this thing up. It weighs about 22 pounds. Put it on a strap, or you can just put your hand under the seat and grab it and pick it up and go. Someone might look at this thing and think, well, I, I can't, I'm not gonna take this from my house to the office, and that's not the point. The point of this is so that you can go from here to the train station, get on the train, take it from the train to your office. And well, are you gonna walk 15 blocks to the station? No. With this, you just rock it out. How many different rail options do I have here in Japan? So the Ueda line is new. Uh, what's the um, technology that you guys have put in it? Ueda line is a linear motor. あの、東京の地下鉄は複雑に工作しておりますので、車両のコンパクト化、それから急カーブ、急勾配をスムーズに運行することが可能になりました。Rinspeed is a Swiss-based automotive think tank famous for their imaginative concepts. These cars may seem outlandish, but they are getting people talking and thinking. One actually, the car expands. That's the presto. If you're commuting, you're just way more practical to park if right. you have a small car. Right. However, on the weekend, you might want to take your mother-in-law, you might want to go shopping. I do like my mother-in-law. See? Just for the record. You just hit the button, and within a few seconds, the whole car extends by 30 inches, and you have a fully sized four-seater car. It's brilliant. For your mother-in-law. For my mother-in-law, yes. 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 Don't forget to take her out when you're training. <laughs> Before closing it back up, right? Absolutely. Yes. And then you actually have one for every uh, video game fan out there. You can literally drive it with a joystick. Well, this is the UC, a very small city car, of course. It's also meant to be loaded in a train, by the way. When you're on a long journey, to be on the freeway, it's not really exciting. While you're on a long journey, you're in a train with your car. Once you get off, you have your own car, your own navigation system, but it drives with a joystick. One of the biggest issues facing the electrification of the automobile is the dreaded recharge. We went to Japan to speak with A Better Place, a global company with an innovative solution. Don't recharge, replace. The Better Place is a infrastructure service provider for electric vehicles. For the conventional cars, you have gasoline stations. Sure. You need to have similar things for electric vehicles. So there are two major problems for the EVs currently. The one is the cost of the battery. The other one is the range of the battery. We try to solve both problems at the same time by having a unique uh, business model in which we own the batteries, okay. not the consumers. Right. At the charging stations, we let them swap the batteries if we want to drive longer distance. That's the model uh, we're working on. Because that means that I could charge at home, and then if I didn't have the time, I could still stop in at a better place, get my battery changed, and keep on going. Right, and the uh, battery exchange process takes only 60 seconds. Yeah, that's awesome. So, but whereas uh, if you're charging it at home, it takes six, seven, eight hours. That's true. Well, if you're fast charging, it's still 30 minutes to one hour. Yeah, so this yeah. is the this is the best way to exchange the range. Finally, Paris. Ah, Paris. A great city for walking, but a great city for bikes and EVs? So as far as the Valide goes, there are 20,000 of these bikes all across the city. There's 1,800 stations, and they're no more than 1,000 feet from each other, so about three football fields. You can completely navigate the city using this system. So, let's say you want to get a bike. You head to the Valide station, you go to the kiosk, you enter your information, and you grab a bike and go. 
If you have Navigo, you can just bypass that kiosk altogether. Just tap and go. That simple. There's not really any suspension on this bike. It is a three-speed that weighs about 50 pounds. And as I'm rolling over the cobblestone streets here, I'm feeling it. Here we go in my Auto Lieb. It's all electric. It was designed by Pinin Farina, the same guys that designed Ferraris. Doesn't really have the same Ferrari specs. Recharges fully in eight hours and can go about 150 miles. It does have a top speed of 80 miles an hour, but here in Paris, you won't be going much faster than that. The regen braking on this is pretty strong. If I take my foot off the accelerator, I can kind of feel it braking for me. Dash is a completely digital LCD style dash. And then I have a GPS. You know, it might not be the most attractive car, but it's gonna get you from point A to point B. Looks like innovation is everywhere. and We've had a great chance to check it all out. It'll be really interesting to see in the future how some of these technologies change the way we get around. Thanks for coming along for the trip. For TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.